In our last episode, we explored the town of Laredo and battleboarded with dolphins at Isla Coronados. This time around, we have a pretty lumpy ride north as we attempt to check out San Juanico. Today we're heading north to San Juanico uh, from Isla Coronados. Uh, we left a couple hours ago and are sailing along pretty nicely. Uh, we got about 15 knots on the beam, uh, but a pretty lumpy sea. Uh, there's quite a bit stronger wind farther out in the sea, so we're uh, getting the waves from that. But we're moving. Did my hair this morning. Looks pretty good, I think. San Juanico was pretty high on our list of must-see places during our time in the Sea of Cortez. But unfortunately, what we thought would be a well-protected anchorage had wind and waves funneling right in. So we made a quick loop of the bay, and then we were out of there. Well, San Juanico was a bust, blown out. So it looked like it was gonna have good protection from the wind and waves, but it all just kind of funneled in there, which is a bummer. But just around the corner, a few miles away, is this place, La Ramada. It looks like a pretty nice spot to be for a couple of days. This guy's helping Jeff. Jeff's made a new friend. I think he wants a treat. From the anchorage at La Ramada, it looked like we could hike up over a ridge and make it to San Juanico. So, we were off to check it out. I don't remember the name of this place, but it's beautiful. What do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> That's all we can say. After a short walk up a dusty road, we found a trail that took us up and over the ridge and dropped us right down into San Juanico. And what do you know? It was beautiful. And tucked into the corner of the bay, we found the world famous Cruiser Shrine, where sailors have come for years and years and from all over the world to leave their mark on the Sea of Cortez. The next day, we decided to work our way inland and hunt for one of Brenda's favorite things, farm fresh produce. Okay, we're off. Off in the desert. Seems hotter today, which I didn't think was possible. Yesterday we took a left, today we took a right. We'll see what's around. Supposedly there's an organic farm, which I don't really expect anything to grow out of here. But there's a farm. I think we found the farm. Is there some chivo? Sí, chivita. Chivita. Uh -huh. Oh, baby. Sadly, there was no produce to be had, but we did get these bad boys. I just got these eggs from a farm for a dollar. One dollar. Fresh from the chickens. Plucked them right out of the hen house. We only had to walk. I don't know, a couple miles in 100 degree heat in the dusty desert. For a dollar. <laughs> it's amazing. We 
didn't really need eggs. We got them. All right, we're moving. We're in La Ramada. La Ramada, something like that, which is next to San Juanico. It's actually just around the corner from San Juanico. We'll try to anchor in San Juanico when we first pulled into the area, but it was pretty blown out. Today is going to be flat calm, at least that's what the forecast says, which it's never right, but uh, it's supposed to be flat calm, so we're going to go try it out. And we're off. Made it. Just barely. Tough trip of like two miles. First things first, get up the shade. It's supposed to be low hundreds today. It's already cooking hot. It's about nine o'clock and it's low 90s. Hot, holy crap. But uh, just about 15 miles north of us, 20 miles north of us, it's supposed to be 120, so 100's not so bad. Since it was only in the low hundreds, we hopped in the dinghy and went to shore to climb a mountain. I think we're coming back. We're swimming. But for now, we're hiking up that mountain. It's 100 degrees, so why would we hike up the mountain? That makes sense to me. Water Tippity top. Woo! Beautiful up here. From the tippity top, we got a pretty great view and found some stuff down below we just had to go see. From up top, I saw this lagoon, so we're checking it out. Not only did we find some pretty cool stuff, we found the only shady spot around. The only shade. The only shade in the whole desert. It's right here. It's amazing. I know I've talked about this a little before, but I'm going to say it again. The cameras we have, they're decent cameras, but they really don't pick up what this stuff looks like in real life. It's spectacular here. Mark my words. Spectacular. This is what I'm talking about. Right here. Beautiful. I don't know what it's all about, but it's here and it's spectacular. It's pretty amazing out here. There's a ton of different geology. You go 50 feet, the rock changes. Pretty amazing. After roaming around on shore for a while, we hop back in the dinghy to do some snorkeling and see what we could find in the bay. Ooh. Let's go up in there. Hopefully there's nothing in here that didn't get me. San Juanico has one of the most dramatic shorelines we've seen yet. With bunches of sea caves, amazing colorful rock formations, wildlife and tropical fish, it's a pretty easy place to spend a bit of time. And on top of all that, it's got an incredible beach where all the rocks are colorful sandstone. Yeah. 
Even the rocks here are amazing on the beach. Found a rare toilet seat shell. Just found a grave. Even though we were loving our time in San Juanico, some weather came up overnight and unfortunately kicked us out. Well, we just left San Juanico. We just had a bit of surprise, well, I shouldn't say surprise weather, nothing's ever reliable. But 25 knots or so breeze and a bit of swell. Going to the next St. Bridge. This yep. one's not very protected. Yep, got a little rocked. Actually kind of had a rough night last night. So, off we go. Well, that's about it for this episode. So join us next time as we make our way to what could be the hottest place in the Sea of Cortez, Bahia Concepcion.